Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wall Gaming Channel and Majesty 2 where today we're taking on the Rat King in the Mortal Foibles of Kings. Sire, look what I found this morning in the Royal Pantry. Yes, it's a rat. No, just an ordinary rat. It was trying to steal cheese. One of the Royal Huntsmen hit it with something hard. A baguette, I believe. Naturally, I ordered the servants to set traps. An hour later, I found this letter tied to one of them. Let me read it to you, my liege. Kneel before me, smooth-skinned surface dweller. I, King Rat the Fifth, sovereign of the underground, commander of the royal murines, slayer of cats, pronounce you my subjects. I order you to supply my court with the finest cheeses. We want goudas, pecorinos, cheddars, Fail to meet these demands, and your kingdom will die from a thousand tiny bites. Also, we have the plague. You cannot excuse such impudence, your majesty. It is a challenge you must meet. According to my sources, this king rat is known to possess the Orb of Sidrian, a mighty relic from antiquity. An artifact that powerful could be very handy, your majesty. If this king rat wants cheese, we'll give him cheese. No, I meant metaphorical cheese, sire. More like a sword, maybe an axe, that sort of thing. New quest for you, your majesty. Your majesty, I've sent a note to a cheesemonger I know. He's agreed to craft a cunning trap for king rat. A ship laden with the finest cheese, locked in an intricate cage, is now sailing to the nearest port, to the northwest of the palace. The ship will arrive soon. You need to send heroes without delay. They'll have to escort the caravan with the trap to your palace. But again, the storytelling does not disappoint. It's not just about fighting a rat king somewhere on the map, a reskin of a normal mob that has maybe poison power or something like that. They've gave it a personality, they gave it demands. They've added this extra creative splice on top of the gameplay loop and also the challenge that each and every one of these missions presents. And then you can see we're starting surrounded by all of these royal sewers here. So we're gonna get attacked by rats very quickly. For this reason, I decided to bring in rangers. Rangers have extra damage against beasts. Rat and ratmen are beasts, so this is going to give us that extra punch that we need. And I'm also putting down two guard towers, two guard houses. They will be good if we manage to complete them. They will be very good in protecting us. Rats die in about two or three arrows from the towers, so they are very good at protecting us from these early mobs. And also, we're getting that guard, which will distract even the ratmen and that's really good for us. This is a riot! You'll regret it, smooth skin! And, and, and we're getting here hit and run here by this uh, rat king. He is doing his plague, a lot of damage, and he's spawning and despawning all the time. There's also an ancient graveyard here. I wanted to bring clerics, however, because we start with very little money, I decided to, to bring rogues, to bring the rangers and also to bring warriors rather than the clerics which are 350 quite expensive overall i'm gonna put a 200 bounty here just trying to clear this graveyard as early as i can the, on the rest of the time we'll pretty much have to worry about the ratmen which have already started attacking us and as you can see over here this is my kingdom mine 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 will i be able to protect this i am not sure if i'll get enough Oof. Yeah, we, we shall see whether we manage to build this. Your Highness, our research is complete. But I doubt it. As you can see, we're getting mobbed here from the beginning. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. So completing these towers is pretty much necessary. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to get past this first wave. However. It seems like we're getting there. Our rogues are doing a good job. Our rangers are here as well. These skeletons, and I think they've spawned from this ancient graveyard. Very annoying. They have destroyed our tower there. More ratmen coming in. 
I'm hoping that we can finish this tower at least. The most annoying thing about getting the towers destroyed is that you are losing the man money as well. So if it's not fully completed, it doesn't matter. You're not getting your money back. There's no way to cancel it. I could do extortion right now. Extortion can be very useful in such a mission where you start, you start in hot. Just because your tax collectors have a high risk of dying as they are moving around and they get attacked by these small rats. So what you want to do is pretty much focus on getting gold as soon as it's generated, even if you lose some of it in the process. I can bring in another warrior. For now, you don't have to rush. As soon as you've settled down your basic defenses, it doesn't really matter that we don't have money. We don't have to rush too much. We will get to a point where our heroes will be high level, so so high in level that they will be able to clear up the camp easily for us. The only downside is if some of these heroes die because they will spawn in a graveyard and then we will have even more undead coming in. But what can you do? That's just how the game goes. Building multiple towers is also very difficult just because the cost keeps increasing. Let's see, 200 gold. I can do a bit of an extort here just to resurrect this rogue. Another level 5 rogue has unfortunately died. They are very weak early on without potions, without healing from clerics. But that is not the important part. The important part is that they are cheap. Where are we at? We killed the bear. We are protected on most sides. Perhaps it's time to collect the taxes. Let's bring another rogue in. More undead are coming in. Help a lady, please. My ambition has I would like to place another tower, either here or here. So I'm going to wait until I have enough gold. My ambition has stayed on. Prepare to die. Where to journey next? Okay, we are another tower down. And as soon as this one is built, I will send our heroes towards this ancient graveyard. We'll try to clear it out. There's probably another ancient graveyard over here just by the looks of these skeletons which came from this direction. One of our rangers unfortunately has died. My ambition has paid off. Did I put out that fire before I left? I didn't check. My ambition has paid off. I could recruit another warrior. I could do that. And this hero here costs 600, so this other ranger that died costs 600 to bring him back. Expensive. Rather than spending 600 there, I'll probably want to put down a market because we're getting 250 gold from taxes there. And we can give our heroes some potions, so that's good. Do another extort here. I'll have the market over here. I better go check. I think we're okay on most sides. Some of these houses that get built further away from the city, unfortunately, they will get destroyed, and there's nothing we can do about it. Unless we want to place more towers, but we don't have a lot of gold to do so. At this moment, it's this is my kingdom. Mine, 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 just mine. a matter of time to settle in. 
Let's see, how much bounty? If I put two bo 200 bounty, there are two heroes interested. That is good. A new building is complete. I can research the health potions here. Let's extort, let's research health potions. Your Highness, our research is complete. There's another ancient graveyard on this side by the looks of the skeletons. So many heroes actually came out to fight them. My ambition has paid. For 200 gold, it shows how weak we are now. Or how poor we are, not necessarily weak. I could extort even more and put down another tower. Now, if I wanted to do that, I would place it here. Right? This is the right area to do it. Built because it covers this house. It covers the market. And I could use another tower over here, but we can manage it just fine like it is. I want to have a blacksmith as well. I believe that the blacksmith is also generating us a lot of gold. Which is not bad, or it could it be like useful. Let's ah. do a bit more of extortion. And I'll place down a cleric skill now. Mine, 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 mine. And I will place it over here. What is our secondary objective here? To so reach the port. They will need to. Escort the caravan with cheese. Powers are killing rats. They're doing a good job. We're starting to get dire rats as well. So enemies are leveling up. A new building is complete. The blacksmith does not actually generate income, but we can research armor. Your Majesty, okay. Let's bring the clerics first. We'll bring the clerics first, then I'm gonna start researching some of this armor. And we'll start with leather armor, just because our rogues will need that extra protection. So they don't easily die anymore. Then we're gonna go with cloth armor. And then improved steel. My ambition has paid off. And with that in mind, I believe at this moment we should be mostly in the clear. 760 gold for the next level, next tower. I'll be placing it here. At which point I think we're totally fine and protected. Okay, great. So, what are we looking forward to at this point? Maybe a bit more armor? Or shall we focus... Happy to serve for my ...on the tower? I think the tower might be the right way to go. Okay. Place the tower over here. As soon as this is built, Actually, I think I can do now, like a 200 exploration flag. Yes, one ranger is interested, he's at level 10. Let's get mana potion as well. I shall start upgrading the warrior skills and everyone else in order to get these first skills. Maybe I'll start with the rangers first, just because of the high damage that they can do. This is my kingdom! My we'll do warriors mind. next. Then we'll have the clerics. What do we see here? So there is an ancient graveyard. And it does spawn in archers. I'll put a 500 bounty on it. Should be bringing a, quite a few Your warriors Majesty, in. A new is if we manage to clear this one, there's probably another one over here, but the important thing is to clear it in order to bring in this trading post. I think I can actually build it now, while the ancient graveyard gets distracted by these heroes. 
for the clerics guild we'll upgrade it we'll throw in the holy attacks we don't need the regeneration potion just yet let's research the skills your highness our research is complete do I want to upgrade this tower to the next level or any of these towers to the next level? I don't think that that is necessarily... That is necessary. And then I'm going to go with some extra ranged and melee weapons. You. Take down these skeleton archers, please. Blacksmith offers new services. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. Your Majesty, a new and now I'm gonna upgrade it to the next level so that it gets some basic protection. We have cleared this camp. There's another one of these ancient graveyards. Now we're starting to make good money. And that's it. We are established at this point. No more worries. The local blacksmith offers new services. Your Highness, our research is complete. We have also unlocked the ability to bring in dwarven, dwarven settlements, which hires dwarves, allows us to research the stone incantation spell, and dwarves don't like elves. I think for this mission we'll definitely want to bring some dwarves just to see the difference between, you know, the elven archers, which we've seen in the last mission, Do I want to bring in a wizard? Wizards are really bad against skeleton archers. But they are very strong once they get past their first levels. I could also bring in the Hall of Lords just because of the really tough warriors we have in it. And I think... The Hall of Lords is the building which I am actually going to build. Let's take care of this bear then. How much? 300? 400 there, just to have a few people coming. And I'll upgrade this guard house as well. We'll try to fit this Hall of Lords somewhere. I put down the Hall of Lords, I've brought in the Cleric, I've brought in the Rogue. At this moment I'm going to wait to bring in the Wizard as well. That he can get a lot of experience and do a lot of damage. There's another Bear Den here. Although I don't know if I care that much about it. Let's explore some of this area. And some of this area here. We're gonna go to the next level of the Royal Palace, then upgrade, make sure that we're upgrading the Ranger's Guild, the Blacksmith as well, and then we're gonna bring in Dwarves. What is this? So this is another bear then. Over here we have another ancient graveyard with three archers. And I can put down a bounty for the ancient graveyard. That will be okay. Another ancient graveyard is down. Wondering if I should be hunting for those bears. Could give us some extra treasures. My ambition has paid off. 
But more than anything, I could wait here. And get the wizard. Your Highness, the palace renovations are finished. How much does the market cost to upgrade? 1500 for that. Another 1000 for the blacksmith. I don't have any gold at the moment. We should be sending our heroes out to, to look for some missions. I guess there's something to be said about taking down even one of these bear dens because of the treasures around it. They'll come back with it, they'll start spending it in store, and thus we will be making some money out of it. I should also be exploring this area more. I'll put a bounty because there's already a ranger here. So he's probably going to clear this area out. There's another ranger or a rogue joining him. There's four? Yeah. Five entrances now where Ratman can attack from. So we'll upgrade this tower even further. I will be upgrading the market, I said, right? 1500? Yes, we can do it now. I can, ex I can extort some of this money and upgrade the blacksmith. But the tax collector has done its job. Sovereign, your marketplace now. One, two, three, four, hundred, five hundred to explore this area. That should be more than enough money as soon as. We my ambition One of these rangers figures out that there's a bounty out there. I'm hoping that they'll go for it. Let's say 600. That's as far as I'm willing to go. Things of protection could be very good value for the money. I'll do another extort here just to go with the blacksmith to the next, next level. And then we'll need 2000 for a dwarven settlement. Which I will be placing somewhere here, away from these sewers, because they bring in the big ratman from the start. This one brings smaller rats, which means that we can train our dwarves before they encounter such large numbers. Nobody is going towards this one? Oh no, we actually have one ranger trying to head towards the north. Here is our very first Dwarven Guild. What's here? A Bearman then? Okay, we have Bearmans, which have immunities to special abilities and kicks. And they have the regeneration ability. For you, your Majesty. The ship has arrived, Your Majesty. Its cargo is safe and sound. The captain demanded restitutions for the damages his sailors received while fighting with ship rats for the cheese. He wanted 12 bushels of silk, but I talked him down to two barrels. Empty captain, ones, of course. I've ordered a caravan to bring the trap to your palace, sire. Okay. I'm putting a 1500 here bounty to protect this caravan. I'm hoping I'm gonna get some interest here soon. Everybody is inside their house, which is a bit unfortunate, as they will have to move in and have to move in quickly to protect it. And right now I have a ranger. He's good. He has a lot of healing potions. He has an expert amulet of protection. So he is a good warrior to escort this caravan, but we'll definitely need a lot more power if we want to protect it. Now we're getting zombies from the graveyard. That is unfortunate. Do I need to upgrade these towers? Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Especially since some of the nearby warriors... Ratman warriors have leveled up. Going for the next level of leather armor. 
there is a graveyard here which we can take down. The local blacksmith offers new services. Your Highness, we've improved the guard tower. Nice. I don't think I need more armor right now. But maybe it wouldn't be bad. Just to make sure we're not spending on resurrecting a warrior, because that would be Finally, the trap is set. Look, sir, that's King Rat. He went for it. He can't get the cheese, and he can't escape. Out in the open, even a rat as large as him is no match for your heroes. Okay. So we've lured him out. Okay, and he's gonna try to get the cheese, right? So we need to focus on taking him down. Is that the situation? I think that that is the case. Hmm. I don't know if we're fully ready for him. I'm gonna get the Sacred Heal ability. I'm gonna now extort. I'd really like to bring in some of these dwarves. Apparently we're getting attacked by bearmen as well right now. As everybody is focusing their efforts against the ratman. Hmm. This leaves us a bit open. Maybe we should have escorted that later. I can bring the trap a bit later. I'm bringing in a dwarf here. Could put a bounty on this bearman. See if yeah, one one person got interested. That's good enough. It's actually a ranger, so he should be doing a lot of damage to the bearman. We've got our first dwarf. I'm recruiting two more. Dwarves have high resistance to magic. Eagerly responds to attack flags. Easily demolishes buildings and does do not like elves. I'm thinking dwarves could be great against vampires. Maybe it's something to keep in mind in, in the future. Uh, I would be running away, dwarf. Okay. He actually managed to survive there. What is the red man doing? Well, we're still engaged with him, we're still fighting. We're also getting surrounded as everybody is focused on the Rat King. Your Highness, our research is complete. But I believe we've managed to finish this. I really don't see anything else going wrong at the moment. Which makes me super happy. Your Highness, this is still one of those early missions where it's teaching you that in the beginning uh, you can get overwhelmed and you have to figure out how to protect yourself and keeping your base tight and putting down towers is definitely the way to go because you put down these guard houses it doesn't matter if you lose guards they are respawned fairly quickly and they don't level up they don't cost you any money while heroes do so if you have few hero bases something where you could get some experience and actually get some high level forces while you are protecting your bases with towers that seems to be good enough stone blood applies an effect improving dwarves protection from magic attacks interesting do i care about anything else on this side no we've pretty much cleared everything I'm gonna upgrade the Warrior's Guild and the Ranger's Guild just to get... Completed, King Rat is dead, your majesty. Such is the price of gluttony. Oh, and your heroes recovered the Orb of Sidrian and placed it in your reliquary. This calls for a celebration, your majesty. Perhaps uh, some of this good. And there we have it. Mission completed. As soon as we got past the first few minutes, getting constantly attacked by rats, and a few undeads in the area. Everything was smooth sailing from there on out.
So who are we going to bring into our next mission? Do I have a really good warrior here? Not really, at least not one that we, I would care to keep. I probably bring a dwarf. A really tanky dwarf like this one with good damage. Something which we can bring in the Hall of Lords, easily recruit without needing a secondary building. You never know when we need something against magic. So let's select the dwarf and let's move on to the next one. That is going to have to be tomorrow. Until then, hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, do consider leaving a like. It helps me, helps the channel grow. And I wish you all have a wonderful day.